my name is Johan Campbell and I have a story to tell. Uh, a story about success, a story about fear, a story about insecurities, but a story also about progress and a story about me. So, long story short, um, I've, I've had a, I'd say a good career in marketing. Um, had a wonderful mother who helped with, you know, kind of navigating some of the rough patches. She did a lot of sacrificing, she did a lot of hustling to ensure that I had good schooling. Um, I realized that the conversation about flying the gate was somewhat instructional. Um, it's almost a command, you know, you're telling someone to fly the gate. But the big question is, who are you telling to fly the gate? Who are you giving dominion over to be your gatekeeper, right? So, standing at the gate and waiting on opportunities, waiting for maybe a passing friend, waiting for some blessing from the universe, somebody where you know, to find out who is here with you where you can fly the gate. You know, you see a virgin, yo! You know who control that gate for me? Anybody can help me out? And I said, no, you know, you know, so the next game, me they walk through. And I said, all right, cool. So I waited and I waited and I waited. And even though I was having a good career in marketing and, you know, other passions came out, event coordination, doing live events, um, keeping parties. Um, the, the concern was, how do I get to the next level? How do I make that progression? How do I actually move through the fear and insecurities of finding success and looking at it I was standing at the gate for a very long time you know waiting on the validation or you know that nudge from someone else to say you can do this and after a while I realized that I didn't know enough because I wasn't trying to learn more I got very comfortable and in doing that it kind of stagnated my own growth so one day, I decided that, look, we need to do things differently. We need to actually make a shift. There has to be some other way to do this. So I'm going to take fast and I'm going to try the gate myself. I'm going to push the gate and realize that the gate is open. The gate never lock, you know, it just catch. But I was standing at the gate waiting on somebody passing or otherwise to come and fly the gate for me. And a lot of times we do that in our own lives. We actually set ourselves back by waiting on that validation from someone else. Waiting on that opportunity to be given to us. When the truth is, if you stand up and take the bold step and actually make that move, you realize that you chart your own course in how you actually do your own thing. So, I'll use an example. Um, Sister P spoke about 2020 being a very encouraging year despite it being a very disastrous one 2020 i decided to start writing more i used to write and scribble some little things in my book but nobody knows i'm gonna write um i also have a very very big phobia about public speaking so this is also something very new for me and also we just never really like talk generally let me chat enough you know I'm gonna like talk to people who I'm gonna know. You can me one side, me and my bridge, and then we chat for the whole day. But public thing like this, fearful. So I decided to start a podcast. And my business partner at the time called him up and I said, Yo, bro, I have an idea. We want to do this podcast. This is what it's about. We're gonna call it Blank Canvas. And it's about finding different facets of creativity, talking to creatives about how they actually do their creative work and you know just making it really a, a niche product it's not for mass market but if it finds a space as the artist did say earlier find your do the work and the audience will find it right um so i had the idea pass it out drive drop the plans everything my bridging say i'm gonna order that um why don't you just do an igtv series i'm gonna say i'm gonna order an igtv so when IGTV is done, IGTV is done. And if some of you remember during the pandemic at that time, if you went on your Instagram at 7 o'clock, the amount of purple circle you see. Everybody on a live, right? 
So it was becoming a little fad, and I'm saying, no, I want my thing to still have some form of resonance after. Somebody can listen to it later and still find something useful in it and actually use it after that. So, long story short, one and a half seasons into the podcast, clap, 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 clap. Um, I've been reached out to, to start a new business. I've been reached out to write, and I've now become a, fur, a published art author. Nice. Uh, I was writing an article, did a collaboration with Red Bull, so we have a few articles going. Um, got some new consultation, created my new scope for my marketing consultation, and all of that was because I decided to just push the gate. Fly the own gate, right? Fly my own gate. Don't wait on somebody or someone, something to fly the gate for you. Now we want a breeze to blow the gate. Push the gate. In a lock. And if it is that you actually take that position, even if you're going to try the gate, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not encouraging anybody to pick no lock. <laughs> Don't say me, sir. But learn what it is that you need to do in order to fly the gate. Mm. Alright? Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. King.